Hi there, hello to everyone, this is Cooking from Canet. Here we are, another day, another recipe, and today it's going to be a super fast one. I'm going to make a courgette cream just for one person, for me, for myself. And uh, yeah, it's going to be like a, a light lunch, like the ones I used to have when I was living in England. And this is going to take 10 minutes to prepare. So you'll say, how come are you going to make that that quickly? Well, let me show you how. Um, I've got here the ingredients. Uh, so to make this courgette cream, obviously we're going to use uh, courgette here. I'm going to use half of it because this one was massive. And now my friends in England, if, you're, if they're watching that, they will be laughing because they always say, oh, you guys in Spain, your vegetables are so big and this and the other say This one was more than 300 grams, so amazing. Anyway, so half of it will be enough for one person. A bit of mozzarella cheese, a bit of parmesan cheese. Um, I've got here a vegetable stock cube. I'm just going to use a quarter of it. A quarter of it will be enough just to give it a bit of flavor. And we are going to make it in this steam case. And this uh, is made of platinum silicone. I don't know if you know this brand. Uh, this is from Leque. And somebody uh, who works there, he said to me, right, would you like to try some of our products and see what you think? And I thought, mm, yes, why not? I'll go for it. So let me show you how this works. Very, very quickly. Um, right, let's put this aside. So the only thing that we have to do is, first of all, slice the courgette. Super. So now we are just going to put the uh, courgette here in the steam case. Like this. So this is uh, for one person, but they have cases like for uh, more people, two, four people, they have bigger cases, but this for one is enough. Okay, so now we're going to add a tablespoon of water, because there we go, more or less, and this is only for the steam, because now what we're going to do is put this in the microwave, so we're going to close it. Uh, this way and I'm going to put it in the microwave let me just move the camera a little bit so that you can see over there and now we're going to uh, cook it in there for seven minutes uh, where are we here seven minutes there and yeah, believe it or not, this is going to be uh, made in, in that time. Um, like the other night, uh, I used it to make some leeks with cream and cheese and that, and I made that in the microwave. And it was the first time I was using it and I thought, is this going to work? But it was actually nice. We also made some mushrooms with some tomato sauce and again, cheese on top and and yeah, and it's a, a very uh, quick option and a healthy option, I think. Uh, so for example, today I'm having this courgette cream, which is much, much better than a sandwich or any other thing that you can grab like on the way if you're in a rush or... Um, so yeah, I think it's, uh, it's useful. So the water is boiling. I'm just going to add in this uh, container where we're going to blend everything, because here we're going to blend everything when the courgette is done, we're going to put it here and then add the water and the cheese and then blend everything and that's the cream done. So quarter of it, let me wrap a, a knife, just quarter of it to give it a bit of flavor. Put it in there. Super, so let's turn the water off and we're going to add here 300 milliliters of uh, water. Uh, a little bit more if you like. That's 350, let's say. And now some mozzarella cheese. We can put 
tutorial. Now we're going to blend it. <laughs> So the courgette is ready. Let me go and grab it from the microwave very quickly. It's hot, hot, hot. Very, very, very hot now. So there you go. Let's open this. Super. So let's move it a little bit up to here so that you can see better. Right. There it is. And yeah, it is done. Yeah, seven minutes, it is done. Now we're going to put it in. Okay, and now let's blend it. Okay, now a pinch of salt. Got the parmesan cheese over there that goes on top now okay let's get a bowl there we go now some parmesan on top Okay, so now I'm going to try it and I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. Um, so if it is not nice, obviously I won't be uploading this uh, video on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be nice because the other night those legs and the mushrooms, they were, they were nice. So let me try. Hmm. Mm, nice. It's good it's very good and it's much better than any soup that you can get from any supermarket you've done it at home with natural ingredients more natural ingredients no preservatives so miles miles better um if you want to know any more about this uh just drop me a line or on the comments uh or just let me know what you think uh i always like to hear from you and yeah please like and share you found that useful and that is all i'll see you in the next recipe